Our topic is triangles. So we're going to start with the perpendicular bisector. So this is a segment or line that intersects a side of a triangle through the midpoint at a 90 degree angle. So for example, um, down here, the red lines that you see are perpendicular bisectors. To create one of these, you use your compass and place it at these vertices. And then from there, you can draw your arc. Where these two um, arcs intersect right here and right here, you can connect them together to create the red bisector. The next topic is an angle bisector. The definition is a line that bisects an interior angle. So first off, you're going to put your compass on this point right here and then make an arc with your compass that crosses both lines coming out. And then you're going to use these two points and then draw an arc from each one using your compass. Where these two points intersect, that is where the angle is the bisector. And then it's equal. It's good. The next topic is the triangle median. The definition is a line segment joining a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Every triangle has three medians and they, inter and they intersect at the centroid. So down at the examples below, if we look on the one on the right, at point A, if you try to find the median from point A, you take half of points C and B and you split that in half and then you draw from point A to the midpoint of C and D. And so your median will be at point D right here. If you look at the example on the left side of the screen, you f this is the median for each side of the triangle. So the median from on this side is from this point. So point A1, the median goes right across to M1. And the same for each different side. And then they all cross at the centroid, which is the middle of the triangle. Our next subject is triangle altitudes. So the definition of this is, it is the distance between a vertex of a triangle and the opposite side. So it is essentially the height of the triangle. So we're going to start with the triangle on the right. Um, you take the highest verte vertex, which is this one right here, and you create a right triangle to the opposite side, which is this side. So we create a right triangle right here, and so this is the altitude. So now moving on to the triangle on the left. Once again, we are going to take the highest vertex, which is this one right here, and create a right triangle using the opposite side as the base. So right here. And so this is our new altitude.